So I would like to introduce you to, oh, excuse me, un underscore 08122-9013. Now, of course, this is a probably renamed account or whatever, or it was just a bot account, which I see a lot of these names are like that exist like this are in sim. Um, they just are a spew of numbers that this person generates to bot with, and that's what they go with. Now, granted, they are, they play arcade, just started realistic, and they don't do sim, so that's not really a shocker to anybody. But, in terms of, like, newish account, and I say new, but it's, you know, arcade, yeah, thousand-ish battles. It's about 2,000 battles done, and he's already, like, top 2,000 for overall and he's sub 1000 for you know the month um and for someone that only has 500 battles in realistic that's kind of abnormal for a new account the only way you'd have sort of stats like that is if you had been playing the game for a long period of time um I wanted to bring up a couple things that I noticed that people are talking about a lot in my comments. Now, this is no fault against anyone because a lot, like I said before, a lot of people just don't know how the game is in terms of um, player style. It's, it's the reason why if you report a replay to me, I ask that you do your own investigation first to see what you see, put your eyeballs on it, see if you can identify what the cheater is, what's going on. Can you see it yourself? Because stuff like this, although I love this right here, even if you're a cheater, you can't get away from Gaijin's crappy volumetric state that they do. So he's shooting a dart with this much pen. You know, only like fucking 350 pen. And he had a non-pen on, on that land. But statistics, at least in terms of kills, shouldn't be your overall indicator that that person is cheating. Um, I get a lot of people who are like... So, for instance, I'll give you a great example. OLYST, there's a, I won't name names, but there's a couple members who I get frequent names in where the person claims they're cheating just because their stats are just extremely high. Now, ironically enough, I don't get called a lot, of, I don't get called out for cheating a lot in my games unless I do something silly, because I play like, for instance, I play the Falcon a lot. I like the Falcon because it's basically a TD. Um, I have, like, a three or four to one in my Falcon. Um, I'll give you a couple examples of my account, for instance, um, without pulling up. I am a, f and I, this is only ground RB. I don't play anything else. You say it's ground RB. I, I played a lot of arcade back in the day. I don't play air RB almost at all anymore because I just don't find it entertaining. Um, and so this is just my stats based on air RB, or ground, sorry, ground RB. So I'll, put, I'll list of my top 20-ish vehicles in terms of kills. Um, Ride Camp Wagon, I'm a, I'm a three to one. Um, CV9105, I'm a four to one. Uh, OF40 MTCA, I'm a five to one. Um, Puma, I'm a five to one. Pack Puma, I'm sorry, Pack Puma, which is the 234-4, the one with the long 75. Um, the Tisma, I'm a five to one. Um, Vickers Mark III, I'm a 5 to 1. KBZ, I'm a 4 to 1. T55 AM1, I'm a 6 to 1. And some of these are mo almost every single one of these vehicles I'm mentioning, I have over a thousand kills in because I like playing them. And it's, just, it's the reason why I've told people that I know a lot of is that I don't play this game to grind anymore. I haven't done that in forever. Um, I think my arcade account that I haven't played in since like 2019, I had 6,000 kills on a single vehicle because arcade back then was super easy to abuse because there was, Ru Russia was basically t king because the T-34, even even now, the T-34, 1942 or whatever, is still like pretty overpowered, at least in terms of the way the armor is. Um, you can still die, yes, obviously, but it, it, back then it was like the only way they could kill you was shoot you through the neck and that was pretty much it. Your sloped armor was very efficient. So, in general exemptions, statistics are not the way you should look at a player. And it's the reason why I encourage people to go look at a replay and try to identify some key factors like we see in these replays. Like, they're staring through people through bushes. They're looking at people that they shouldn't be able to see sightline-wise. They have very odd movement. They they stare at people with binos. It, it's, it's 
there's there's a lot of key indicators of of the way someone does cheating, um, and we ultimately realize that you know not everyone knows what to look for because, like I've said before, people just assume it's UOQ. Now, granted, I think a content creator named Munitions did a video like I think today or yesterday on ULQ. Now, ULQ is still very like easy to do. It, get, it low, lowers the resolution on anything. Blah blah blah. But that conquer would not be visible in ULQ with how much stuff is in front of him. Okay, I mean now we can see him, but he had two layers in front of him before he stalked, looked at it, and then all of a sudden now he can see it. So remember that ULQ is not the ultimate getaway of oh they're just they could see me through everything. That's not how that works. There, there's certain aspects that you won't just stare at people through everything and know they're there automatically. So a cheater, in any sense of the word, in any game you play, he always knows where you are. So they, you notice that every time I do a replay like this, they go from one target to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. There is no in-between. You see right here, he just snapped to a new target that he can't even see in that regard. So they never scan like a normal player does. Subtle ones will. They'll try to use their binos. They'll try to do the obvious things of, you know, trying to be un as unobvious as possible. But they always have a method to their behavior. It's the reason why I recommend Gaijin invest in a better anti-cheat. It's simple, but it revolves around Gaijin being responsible with their actions and actually caring about that action. So, as always, Gaijin, if you ever listen to these videos, I would encourage you to get a better anti sheet or redevelop your own one that you had. Because the old one worked, this new one does not. We went from having a handful of cheaters to having thousands banned every month. So, yeah, and I guarantee the manpower to ban all these people is probably a nightmare considering what you're dealing with. So, as always, I encourage that. And as always to the rest of you, I hope you have a good rest of your morning, day, evening, or night. Have a good one.